Hi, and welcome to this Applied KA question using vitamin C as the molecule of interest. So, it tells you a little bit about vitamin C, namely its molecular formula, and it says it's a weak monobasic acid with a KA value. And you may need to base your thinking for the first one, which is write the expression for KA for vitamin C, on HA dissociating to H plus and A minus. So if we take this idea and apply it to vitamin C, you can dissociate it to make H plus and C6H7 of 6 minus. So the, it's important to get this part of it right. So one less hydrogen and it has a negative charge because it's lost the positively charged proton. So you can change your K expression into that. So pKa has a relationship to Ka in the same way that uh, pH has a relationship to H+. Plus. So it's the same mathematical connection. So you do pKa equals minus log of the Ka value that we've been given at the top of the page. And it wants it in two decimal places. So therefore you need to write it as 4.17. Then it says a bottle of vitamin C supplements contains tablets, each containing 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Now, be careful with this because milligrams is one thousandth of a gram. So you need to make sure you're doing the right conversion because your mole calculations will need to involve grams when you're dealing with mass. So I've changed um, 500 milligrams into 1500 milligrams because there's three vitamin C tablets. So that's 3 times 500, making 1,500 milligrams, which now becomes 1.5 grams. So I've worked out the number of moles of vitamin C in three tablets. Now I want the concentration of vitamin C. So I, dissolve, uh, I divide that number by uh, the volume, which is 250 centimeters cubed over 1,000, and I get the concentration. So now I can start putting numbers into my Ka expression that I constructed before. So remembering that the... Uh, Monobasic acid dissociates into H plus and the um, conjugate base, so these are equimolar, so therefore you can write H plus squared instead. That allows you to do a square root expression, which gives you 2.8187073.61. Now it says two decimal places, so we need to convert that to 2.82. Next part of the question, it uh, tells you a student dissolves a low acidity vitamin C tablet in water. So we're no longer looking at 1,500 milligrams, we're looking at 300 milligrams. And the pH of the solution is 4.02, so there's more information there. So the first thing to do is to identify and uh, establish the concentration of hydrogen ions. So you can do that by 10 to the minus pH. And you need to use the Ka expression, but to, you need to rearrange um, it so that we have this as the subject. So that's what the question asks you to find out. You can plug the numbers into here, which gives you 0 0.0707858985 and to three significant figures, that's 0 0.708. So the final part is asking you to calculate the mass of the conjugate base, including the sodium, so it's actually the sodium salt, not just the anion, again in milligrams. So you work out the number of moles in 300 milligrams of the vitamin C, and if you remember, uh, we this time using 0 0.3 grams, not 300 milligrams, 0 0.3 grams. So that allows us to work out the number of moles of the salt, because the salt and the vitamin C are equimolar. And we need to be careful here, because if you remember, the ratio is 0 0.708 to 1. So multiply the moles by 0 0.708. Now, once I get the moles, I need to multiply that by the MR, including the sodium. So that gives me 239 milligrams. Now, finally, you want the uh, concentration of the NaOH solution. So using the KW expression, you can rearrange it to get H plus in brackets, H plus aqueous. So that gives me... 0.0525. Okay, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.